morning everybody out on the farm here again today we're going to do something a little different only uh got to do this about once a year here we're going to set up our picture pen today for our uh, sale cattle so we kind of set up a makeshift one last year and kind of got an idea of what we wanted to do and we're going to go kind of almost all out this year move some hay bales and some bigger gates and some other stuff so right along and see what we end up doing so first we're going to see if we can fire this old girl up it's a little chilly this morning, about 20 degrees. This hadn't been started in a while, so let's see what she does. Oh. Sometimes it doesn't like to... Oh, come on. Oh, she made it. 85 Chevy to the rescue. And don't worry about the gas gauge. Only about a quarter of it works. When it's on a quarter, it's full. So right now we have about half a tank. So we should be good. We're just rolling around the farm today. Well, all some posts. There's some WW posts, I guess. Not T posts. Although we might need a few T posts, we'll have to find out. Sometimes this truck doesn't have very good brakes. We got good brakes this morning. Squeaky clutch. And off to find some WW panels we go. And here's what I'm after right there. A little chilly this morning. Post loaded here. Unfortunately, they've been sitting in the dirt and have some frozen dirt in the bottom of them. So, normally we'd put these feed on them. We'll take one and see if we can maybe try to get one at them for the end of a gate, but uh, we're probably not going to be able to. So, we'll hope it still works right. Here's some of our older bulls there. We're gonna set up the picture pin kind of right in here in this corner of this this lot here. That's what we did last year. We'll get her set up. Uh oh, starting gate. Doesn't like to stay where it's supposed to. It doesn't have a good post to tie it back to, so we gotta tie it around some wire here. Voila, that works. We're gonna go drop off some posts now. So just to give you guys a little backstory, you can see a concrete pad there. So my dad built this barn for my sister and I when we showed cattle. It was probably a little late in our career, but we still made really good use of it. And so that's where we washed our show calves at when we showed. And then this right here, the last, well, it was always kind of wet, but the last few years we had a lot of trouble with the, cattle wanting to try to stand in this so we made this little makeshift fence to keep them out of there and then well it was still up we didn't remove it and so then last year it kind of became a holding pen to to uh video and picture our cattle so we put up this little gate and it didn't work real real well but uh we still got some weeds we got to knock down and some other stuff here but 
we're gonna run a couple panels out and then some along there and we should just be hunky dory these guys are gonna be curious as to what i'm doing all day they're gonna have the chance to run through this pen too so kind of muddy in here unfortunately i'll we'll get that cleaned up if it dries out a little bit all right we got some progress happening here got our panels old panels tore down we're going to set a new big well it's not new but a gate that we got in storage big 12 foot w and w gate right here that little one we'll either take back or use somewhere else for something i was able to get a couple of these posts um to go onto a stand i'll see if i can, see if I can find a couple more stands so we should be ready to rock and roll. We're gonna go back and to the pile and see what we can find, and then we'll get a tractor and bring a gate over. All right, we're at a trusty steed here for the day. I don't know whether you can hear that or not. That's a block heater. It's warming up the block for us here. It's been plugged in a couple hours. This tractor doesn't like to start real well, and it's plenty cold enough it needed anyway. So we're going to unplug it and see if it'll fire off for us. Oh, a little loose. And it takes a second for it to die down. So, we're going to stick my vest in here because chances are I'm probably still going to need it at some point. Give it a little juice.
we're gonna hope these bulls don't decide they need they need this hay but we're gonna have oh that one's gonna have to come a little more we'll have to come in here and adjust them all but i wanted to here to kind of mock it up and make it make it look good before i had to do a bunch of rearranging but uh i think actually i probably took that gate down prematurely the one that's laying on the ground there i think i'm gonna need it for the spacing and then we're gonna have to have this big gate out beyond that i think is what i'm gonna have to do oh well live and learn
Had a few interruptions along the way. Skid loader wouldn't start. Had to jump it. Didn't have the camera with me. But I got some panels over here now. Also had a heifer that had a problem that's supposed to calve here in a little while, but we think she aborted and then she had a uterine prolapse. Might have been an interesting video, but didn't have the camera with me there either, and that's kind of an emergency deal. So anyway, we got one panel on it here. I'm hoping I can take this chain off the tractor now and hopefully this big old gate won't fall over. So we'll find out. I don't know if that last one I did was there in the camera frame or not, but it's starting to take shape. So now what I need to do is move these hay bales over a little bit and we pretty well should be ready to go. And we can start framing the rest of this up. We're going to use prefer panels for that. They're a little, well, not just a little, they're a lot easier to work with. So <laughs> anyway, off we're going to go. All right. So I had to adjust this panel a little bit. It was sticking past the gate, so now I've got to raise it back up and do that. But first, I'm going to drive a post, one of these posts that I pulled out. Maybe a bit of a maze to get in here to do that. Well, I guess I got a gate. So just go the gate. turn out to be as straight as what I intended. Oh. Then we're going to drive another one, I think, right here, which is going to line up with the post on the W&W &W gate, or the panel. That should give us something to attach to.
that stuff cut a piece of wire Lay down the roll of wire here and I've cut several of them but we'll get one cut that'll allow me to get this first little bit cut on or put on rather One little trick that always taught me if you're dealing with a roll of wire is bend the end you cut off of, then you can find it again easier. It's a big help. Hold this over the top. And try to match the match the height here. Probably gonna tie this one in the middle. Uh, you guys probably can't see very good, if at all, actually. There we go. There's one tied on, looks like. See so if I can get you a better view. Tie the next one on. places on each post so I got one two three and then I'll have to tie it to the WW there too so I got one two three four five six seven like ten more ties to do so we'll get that done and show you the finished product somebody's being lazy over there all right we got her all tied on got the panel scooted over against it panel tied to the post Maybe it isn't 100% sturdy, but it'll have to work. Most of the jiggling here is the gate. So eventually, I'm not sure what I'm going to do over there on that side yet, but I've, I'll either scoot that panel against over against the fence there, or I'll run another panel from it over to that head post that you can see uh, right about there. But this one here, I think we're going to run panels in front of these bales too once I get them here. So I've got to get these scooted over, and I think this is about where I want about where I want it. So it should work and this is about the distance between the fence and the hay bales i want that second one's a little too far out right now so i'm gonna have to, but i gotta move them both anyway so it's not a big deal so i'll just have to get off and check each time that i'm setting them down where i want them and well we're gonna go get probably eight or ten more bales or so all right how's everybody doing again Hadn't been very long for you, but been a little bit for me. Got some more panels. Those two are, those two there are going to go right here. And then we've got these prefrits are going to go all along here, all along that fence, and then all along here and meet back up with these panels there. So we're going to get to work on that. But we'll probably have to get started doing something else for the farm first, too. Got some cattle to move. So we'll see how that goes. Got a farm pit stop here. Bringing cow, uh, gonna bring some uh, steers up here, not cows. These are gonna, gonna get sold to Sailborn tomorrow. Turn into cash money, pay down the line of credit, whatever you wanna do with it. So dad's honking for him, trying to get him to come up here, and then we're gonna pull him out this gate, just like we did the heifers when we brought them out here, oh gosh, two weeks ago, I guess it was. Uh oh. 
knuckles in there trying to kind of coax them to go this way make sure they all head this way and i'm gonna hang out here and keep them from going backwards down the road so it looks like they weren't wanting to drive very good so he's trying to call them call them out of the back of behind the hill you can see him with the headlights on about right there or so on the four-wheeler some cattle starting to crest the hill deciding to be stubborn They're being awful stubborn today. Now they're coming. Cows think they think they're going to get fed too.
Go on, guys. Let's go. Now stay out of there. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Hey. Yep. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on, Earth. Hey. All right, guys, good evening. Sun's going down. Just wanted to give you a look at this before we get all finished up here. Before it gets dark so we just got to make some chains to secure some stuff and we should be ready to go we're gonna stick these bales right here at the end of these panels to kind of give them some support out should be good to go thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe thank you